Now, someone who hasn't been out of the papers all summer is Anne Widdicombe, the Tories' answer to, well, just about everything, really, at the moment. Her forthright views and manner have always attracted the attention of journalists inside and outside the chamber. And this is her in 1990, believe it or not. She's brilliant. She's a gift to sketch writers. In fact, what's not often known is that we make small sacrifices now and again, a chicken here, a goat there, um, in order to get people. We sacrifice an entire oxen and the gods sent us Anne Widdicombe. When she doesn't just make a speech, uh, she doesn't just gather her clothes around her, she gathers her entire body around her and then she hurls it around is the place. Is anybody seriously saying that we must preserve at all costs crime and ill health because they keep people in jobs? And watching the mind, the body, the clothes, all heaving around the place, pitching and rolling like a, like a ship in a North Atlantic gale, it's a wonderful sight, and our only problem is finding ways of putting it into words that will convey its true majesty But we do, readers. Simon, we do. I am not against killing foxes. I am not against culling deer. What I am against is the chase. It is the cruelty involved in prolonging the terror of a living, sentient being which is running for its life. She does nothing by half. She hurtles into whatever it is. And when it's something she believes in, like uh, banning fox hunting, then there is no limit to her passion. Prolongation of terror is wrong. Those who practice it when there are alternatives which are already widely practiced do wrong. Yes, the scenes of a hunt are splendid. So splendid they're all over my dining room curtains. But they are... <laughs> but they are colourful scenes of Oldie England, and in Oldie England, not in modern Britain, they belong. Kelvin, yeah! order. Order. Honourable members shouldn't clap after a country. <laughs> we need to do it. It's not necessary.